this is my Anfield tour experience. I've been a Liverpool fan for my whole life. Both my parents don't watch football, so I was a first generation football fan. So I had all the teams in the whole country or world to pick, and I set my heart on Liverpool. Watching players like Steven Gerrard and Michael Owen running around the pitch when I was younger was an amazing thing to see. And since then, uh, I progressed as a much, much bigger fan. I've been to Anfield quite a few times, been to quite a few away games, but I've never done the Anfield Experience tour. It was an amazing tour, actually. Like, the the history of the club is so much more rich than I could imagine from words and videos. Being there yourself and seeing the whole the whole vibe, and especially from a Liverpool fan who's not from Liverpool, I don't really get to see Anfield that much. This video is just for facts and information about Liverpool Football Club. I've uh, recorded the whole tour, so I'm going to add some photos and videos and like that. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy. Liverpool Football Club was established in 1892. There have been 45 club captains of Liverpool Football Club. The longest serving captain is Stephen Gerrard of 12 seasons. Incidentally, all 45 captains have been either English, Irish, Scottish or Welsh. Only one of them has not been. That was Sammy Hippier, who was captain for two seasons and he was Finnish. The first football match in colour televised was in Melbourne Liverpool Football Club and that was in 1967 between Liverpool and West Ham. This is a club that's won five European Cups. Uh, that's more than any other English club. We also won three UEFA Cups, three UEFA Super Cups, 18 league titles, although none of our Premier League titles. Hopefully this season we change that, but currently no Premier League titles but 18 league titles, seven FA Cups, uh, and a record eight League Cups. As well as that, we have won 15 Community Shields. Anfield has a seating capacity of 54,074 seats. And as you know, the main stand is now the highest free standing stand in Europe. It's been renovated very recently. The stadium has four stands. It has the Spion Cup, the Anfield World End, the Sir K. Dalgleish stand, and the uh, main stand. Since the capacity has increased to 54,074, now makes Anfield the seventh biggest stadium in England. Interestingly, Anfield wasn't always home to Liverpool, and the greatest rivals, Everton, used to have the stadium between 1884 and 1891. Liverpool have had Anfield ever since. In 1994, that's when the stadium became an all season stadium after the Taylor Report, which then converted and reduced the capacity. Arriving at Anfield again for this tour was an amazing experience. Go to reception, you get your interactive tour badge. I've had to hand back in now. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't keep those. We went up the stairs, we saw the inspirational quote. First up was the away kit room, and that was such a different environment to the home kit room. It was so uncomfortable. Oops. You get a nice clear kitchen, Liverpool supplying you with nothing, okay? Go Going into the Liverpool home dressing room was absolutely fantastic. It was everything I imagined that a change room to be like. They have everything sorted for them, they have their own locker, all their kits are hung up, the kit man did a great job, everything's all hung up, their boots, they've got so much space, comfortable seating, amazing lighting, amazing bathroom, it's perfect for the players. On our way through the tour we went outside and we went and saw the Hillsborough tribute and that was a very powerful moment. It was so quiet and it was so peaceful. It's a big part of Liverpool Football Club. It's, it is a very family oriented club. Again, it makes you really appreciate life and it makes you really appreciate everything you've got. One of the funniest parts of the tour was we went through the Hall of Accolades and on the wall they have a ticket from the 1978 Champions League final. It was £5 for a ticket. This is crazy how times have changed. Tickets now for Champions League finals can go well above £10,000. I also got to see the Liverpool trophy room and the Champions League trophy. Only five clubs in the history get to keep the original Champions League trophy, which puts Liverpool in such an elite group of clubs. Ajax, Bayern Munich, Barcelona, Real Madrid and Liverpool are the only teams that can keep the Champions League trophy. And this is what was beautiful to see. You can even see the dent where it was dropped. Overall, the Anfield tour was very informative. It cost £20 per head, so I would recommend this to any football fans in general. Thank you.